What is up you guys, Anton back at you with another video and this is starting to feel very real. What do I mean by that? Well, let's check it out. If you think you can't do it, think again. This, this was really pushing it, I thought. Um, I mean, look at this angle. It's pretty insane. I sliced the chest piece only in half and it came out flawlessly. I could not be happier. Some stringing. That could be tweaked. On to the next part. I have been hard at work and look at this. We have the full right arm, complete chest plate coming together. The head, I've actually started painting some. Shoulder, neck. I mean, he's starting to look like a full-size Iron Man, huh? Now we don't have little scraps and pieces here and there. So, there is a lot to update you guys on what I finished over the weekend. So, as you see, a lot of the stuff has been primed. What has not been primed is welded together. Uh, PLA welding is not very difficult. I thought I was very nervous about it. Um, I have learned much more about my printer. The uh, This piece was actually printed in two parts because I just could not split it, slice it in any sort of way I wanted to. And I welded it together in the back and it actually, you can barely tell the line after some sanding, so that's good. Um, the other half of it is actually printing right here. And this one is gonna be the full thing. I saw an orientation I liked. I'm printing it, believe it or not, this way, which is pretty insane and intense, but it wasn't using too much supports. And I said, you know what? This print has been surprising me and pushing the limits. I'll do it. Chest piece, as you can see very noticeably, it's only two pieces. Um, it was printed from this side going up and just a simple PLA weld right there. And that's some wood filler on the top to make sure that seam is not noticeable. I'm going to sand it down, the whole thing. And now the helmet. I'll talk about this guy. I'm testing out some different paints. I love this gold. I love, love, love this gold. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. I don't think I'm going to change it. The gray that you see is actually the primer there. That's not any of the metal I tried. I tried this silver. You could barely kind of see it on the top here. It's not awful, but I was looking for a darker one. So that's going to be changed. The red, oh boy. Not the red I was looking for at all. It is way too red, way too bright. Ah, uh, so unfortunate. But that's why I only bought one can of everything. So we're just testing out. But this helmet looks so good. Oh my goodness. So excited about it. So this next week, what I'm planning on doing is printing the rest of the neck out and the chest and the abs. That's what we're going to be working on sanding i'm not going to except for the helmet I'm, that's the going to be my kind of tester for paint stuff for the most part i just my idea is i'm not going to paint the whole suit until i have all of it done and then i'm going to trim it and make sure it fits perfect make sure it attaches well and then i'm going to start painting it but i want to make sure that the colors match so i'll probably test some on maybe a hand or some other part that's not as important. Actually, shoulder. I can work on the shoulder completely fine because there's no uh, sanding that I need to do on that. But here it is. Um, very, very real. This guy is really starting to take shape. I'm excited. Okay. Locked and loaded. This is the scariest print I've yet to do. I keep seeing that every video, but man, this one is pulling Chinette to the max. The whole build play. I mean... The maximum possible way it can be printed. I'm doing it. I'm not splitting it anymore. I liked it. It's not terribly too much support. It's going to get all the details. Got our Octoprint connected to us to monitor. I don't upload threads to Octoprint because it just doesn't work well. File is loaded. Hidden print. Abs right. Here we go. See you guys on the other side. You know, oftentimes people ask me, you know, what printer do you want? Why did you choose this one? What is it that you love about it? Short answer, this is flipping why. 
that's a whole half of an ab that's being printed. This bed with 300 by 300 millimeter build volume is huge. This ab is at 50% right now, I believe, and it's flawless. This filament that I'm using has been immaculate. <laughs> because this build volume is so huge and it can go so high, it's only gonna take me two prints for the apps. That's it. And they're huge. About over, I think, 350 grams that it uses. Uh, I love it. I absolutely love this printer. Yup, that's what I call pushing it to the limits. That's, I've officially said it enough times. <laughs> it went up basically the maximum height. And just so you guys could see, perfectly smooth print. Absolutely flawless. With... You know what? There are minimum supports, but I could have done even less. But I'm super pleased with how this print came out. Absolutely amazing. Going to be detailing you guys how to get your prints to look just like this. Just so you guys better see, I took it out off the bed, but this is exactly, I didn't take off any supports as it printed. This is exactly what you want to do with your print orientations. And I'll be giving you guys a much detailed explanation about Kira and what I've learned. But you see how it's vertical like this? This is absolutely perfect. And it comes out super smooth. I have yet to see an imperfection. Absolutely perfect. And it does not use that many supports. You got some right here. This is with 70 degree overhangs. These are extra right here. I could have gotten rid of these. I don't even know how that, ha that one happened. So I got rid of those on my other side, left side of the abs. So yeah, there you go. Full abs, complete.